everyone. Welcome to Mud Dog. Lindsay's Builds. So, yeah, just a pop-up stream. Uh, just using some hours up that I've got left because I'll get renewed tomorrow anyway. So, might as well use them up. So, I'm going to carry on with the uh, Warhammer Weaver. So, this is what I'm going to carry on with. So, uh, yeah. Anybody wants to join me, go for it painting, hobby time. Just say so. If you want to come in, I will drop the link in the chat. So, <clears throat> we'll go down camera. I was uh, doing a little bit earlier on uh, another stream. So, yeah. So, we've got Go For It Painting in, says hello. Hello there, Go For It Painting. Also, we've got Hobby Time in, says hi. Hi to you, Hobby Time. Go for it, paintings. Got a big thumbs up. So I will drop the link in the chat if anybody wants to come and join me. I've got to save two paint spaces though. So anybody wants to come and join join me, they are quite welcome to. So <clears throat> earlier uh, in the other stream, uh, what I've done, I've put the second coat on the weaver, which is the base coat. Uh, it's uh, near enough quite dry anyway. So uh, I will get start putting the top coat on. Uh, I've started doing the weapons. I am using uh, the... Um, let me change my glasses. I'll be able to see better, wouldn't I? Okay. I'm using the uh, Citadel paint, which is the Baracanar Burgundy which is uh, that burgundy so yeah I'm going to use that so I've got to put another coat on this and uh, then um, another coat of this on uh, this black and then once that's dry then I can start dry brushing it so I can get like a metal effect on the barrel uh, if you're watching Spur and Glue there is a link there for you in your messenger if you want to come in. Carl should be in in a little while uh, after he's uh, just, he's just got to make a little road trip and he'll be back. Uh, so yeah, I've got this one to do as well. This has got uh, three weapons with it. Uh, there's actually um, two on the front. There's two on the front and then there's one underneath. So uh, yeah. Has plenty of weapon systems this does so we'll get down to it we've got new Fenris railroad in and he says morning morning there snowy hope you are well my friend These lids never ever stay open, do they, when you want them to? They can be a bit of a pain sometimes. So, uh, what are you other guys working on if you're at the bench? Got six people watching so far, which is good. I'm using a. Um, a mixture of water and the citadel so trying to uh, do it in thin coats that way you don't get uh, all the bad brush marks and just keep kind of brushing it just to make it flat They don't want to stay open. Oh. 
Panel of six. Quite willing to share my stream as long as you're working on something. And uh, you will be restricted, no bad language, no smoking on screen. So if you're doing anything, you're welcome. Uh, Fenris says, uh, doing good, just woke up and in the shed about to do a deep clean. Oh, he's finally going to clean his shed up. It's long overdue, eh, Snowy? Hopefully we get somebody, somebody else in, make it entertaining for everyone. I'm not that much of a chatterbox. You kind of run out of things to talk about, don't you? This will be a two hour stream, so. actually having three coats on this I find hand brushing quite relaxing actually I don't really like to spray these Citadel paints if you're using Vallejo that's all right or uh, Tamiya Tamiya acrylics I don't use uh, lacquer paints. They're, uh, I find them too smelly. Quite like hand brushing these Citadel paints, they're nice. Mm. I will be uh, on a stream tonight, which will be the uh, Bedford Buddy Build. That will start at 7 o'clock tonight, UK time. And I will be streaming it to my channel. There will be uh, three of us, uh, DS Models, Horlicks and myself.
uh, Snowy says, I use Citadel paints in the airbrush, but need to thin some. Yes. I think it's around about a 50, 50, 50 mix, isn't it, Snowy? Something like that. Well, I don't know about the guest, but I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate you coming in, buddy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, nice to be here, as always. Hello, chat. Uh, you know me. I don't need to say hello. <laughs> yeah, just go and drop a thumb on your Ubin tube. Thank you very, very share much. you out. And uh, I'll be full attention. Lovely, Jim. Are you getting on with that to, to runner? Uh, well, early days at the moment. But uh, look, it, I, I love the build. I really it's, do like this. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lovely build, isn't it? Yes. I thought you would enjoy it. Definitely. So I know what you like for your detail. Uh, well, I'm going to do my best with it, buddy. Aye. Hey, Snowy and Hobby Time and go for it. Uh, so, yeah, what uh, all I've done basically is I'm trying two different ways with this. That's I'm cool. doing, uh, obviously, it's all got to be primed, but uh, I've tried going in between each of the bones on this side. And on the other side, I did that, but then I thought, you know what, let's try a different way. So I've just whitewashed it. Uh, it needs another coat of primer to make that look half decent. And this side, it needs the bonage uh, priming. So I'm going to see what it comes out like on this side first. Uh, but I do need to give it another coat of the white. So that's what I'm going to do at the moment. Uh, I've deliberately not assembled all this in one go because it's so complex that when you get the legs and stuff on, you've, you've literally got no room whatsoever to get into the details. So, I mean, there's details on the inside of the legs and all sorts here. So I've deliberately not uh, fully assembled this. Uh, so I can get right in there and do what I need to do. And the weapon, I've made it so that at the moment I can pop it off and on as I please. But again, there's so much detail to be picked out of this that uh, it's going to take an age to do. Um, so, yeah, uh, two weapons uh that's that one and then i've got this one here uh that goes there also again a lot of detail but uh, easier on this one to get to but because i'm building the body for a specific one i need the weapons to be interchangeable uh the head pieces there's two and one will fit with the first weapon that I showed you, but not with the second. And this headpiece that looks like the Kaiju uh, will fit both. But it's, I like the other one more. But what I thought about doing was uh, hollowing out there, sticking a magnet in and magnetizing the headpiece alone. So that if I do change the weapons at any time, 
I can use this awesome headpiece as well, uh, mm. which is a lot nicer, I thought. I did try to change the tongs over because the, the, the tongue, I think, is absolutely fabulous. And that, that one there would have gone better with this head. But you can't, um, purely because the jaw extender and this jaw are slightly different uh, in length. Uh, the, the throat piece where the tongue sits goes further back on this head whereas on this one it doesn't so uh, i mean it's basically oh. the same thing but with a spike on the end um but uh no I think, hello i think they're brilliant these two hey robbie nice to see you buddy nice so see um you. what i'm going to do is uh send send for some magnets because i can't find my magnets and uh, hollow out enough to put a magnet in there and a magnet on each of the head pieces and um, the legs they've got tons and tons of detail to be picked out of um, so it's going to be a slow process i'm not going to rush this as it was a wonderful gift from lindsay and uh, yeah th these are going to take so long to do these lindsay would have it done in a week <laughs> not me because like i want to paint all the parts that came with it and if you saw the egg sack that came with this it, this won't fit on because the uh claws on the underbelly are there but this was designed with babies coming out of the belly fully armed these things have got weapons as they're being born um uh, that would have sat on there like that. And it's just, I'm going to use it as part of a diorama as a dead, dead alien. And there's its claw like legs. Uh, so mm. yeah, uh, <laughs> that's going to be a drop down weapon when it's not in use. Just chuck it down like that or something on the dio. Uh, same with the headpiece. Then again, I could mount that over a door or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's what I'm up to at the moment. Cool, brilliant. Thank you. Sorry for taking so long to explain such a little thing. No, that's um, just fine. No, that's fine. Hello, the honourable crochet Robbie. Hello, hello, hello Robbie. Do my crocheting. It's nice. Fine. Okay, oh. so I'll carry on with this chat. Um, Fenris says, I use Citadel paints in the airbrush but need to thin some. And also says, I use two parts Citadel paint to thinner. He also says, yep, sub-assembly is good at most models. And MP Model Plastic says, good afternoon, Lindsay, Sprue, and all in chat. Hey, Snowy. Good 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 <coughs> Hi to MP. Good afternoon, That's MP. Hi, JC. Hey, JC. Um, New Fenris Railroad says that's a cool idea, Sprout. And uh, I said, Afternoon MP. JC Bricks and Builds is in and says, Hi all. Afternoon JC. MP Model Plastic says, Hi JC. So, what I, I, I might do now, instead of doing a second coat of white, I might just see what this Ushabit bone looks like over it. Mm. See if that comes out and then do a bit of the black detailing. Because obviously I've got to do more shading to the bone. Yeah. Um, and I do have them, don't I? Mm -hmm. um, in this pot, I believe. Because it's a three-stage process with these, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What have I got here? Lindsay, yeah. you got a message. Sorry? You got a message from, um, it says, hi, Lindsay, mine, if I come on. Yeah, the link's in the chat, Snowy. Yeah, it's up, up yeah. top, Snow. Come on, come on in, Snowy. So, like, I've got Screaming Skull. Uh, Utashiba, or whatever it is. 
and flesh war uh, flayed flesh but that's also a layer so that one won't be in use i think there was one before now MP Model Plastic says, hi, Rob. New Fenris Railroad says, yeah, yeah, we, we've got him up here. MP Model Plastic says, hi, Snowy. Snowball. Hello, Sprue. Hello, um, Snowball. Yeah. The brand, uh, you were looking for a extreme highlight for the uh, bone with the Ashanti? Yeah. Um, if you have Screaming Skull, I do. That's yeah. You, uh, Zon I usually use Zondri Dust, Ushanti Bone, and then um, Screaming Skull. Right. Well, I don't have the dust. <laughs> I have the Ushabti Bone and Screaming Skull, and I'm going to base layer it. Now I've got primer on that side. I'm going to base layer it with Corax. Corax, Corax white. white? Yeah. Which is what I was advised. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. Uh, the Corax white works as a good base. Um, Because there's no base paint on this. It's just primer. Over the yeah. top. So uh, uh, Corax white on as the base. And then go over that with the Ashabti. And then uh, layer it with the Screaming. Yeah. Uh, that'll be a brighter white. Uh, I'm trying to think what other... A good base for the bone... Yeah, because they're lay layers, aren't they? Yeah, they're just they're they're a little bit thinner, but um, they still uh, it still comes out well. I just um, let me see what other base. That's my brain I've fart. Got. I've, got, I've got other base. Uh, I've got other uh, bony colors ish. Yeah, that's a uh... texture. That's Armageddon. That's a layer, it's Boucher. Oh, Zandri Dust. Oh, I've got a Zandri. Okay. And I've got yeah, a, a Morgast Bone. Ooh, Ooh I haven't tried better. that one. Use them three. Yeah, because that's, that's, that's Zandri that's Dust space. there. Yeah, I've got Zandri here. Yeah. Yeah, that's Zandri that I did on the, uh, on the Blood Knight. For the horse, I just hadn't I hadn't done the layering yet. I need that out. Um, and you were talking about for your shading, if you have uh, uh shades, I'm was... short of. Yeah, I only got two. I'm afraid. I oh, know three. Which ones I've, do you have? I've got a purple, which is. Oh, that's a contrast. Magos. Okay. Uh, in which case, I've only got two shades, I think. Yeah, I've got a Bile Tan Green. Yeah, Beltane Green. And oh. what's the other one? I did have another one. I know I did. Oh, hang on. Here it is. Uh, a Reichland Flesh. That'll work great. As your uh, as a deep recess shading on yeah, the bone, I, I was going to suggest the that one. Going. Yeah, because I'm putting black in between the bone. Oh, okay. Which I thought might be maybe <clears throat> a good idea. Yeah. Uh, let me zoom this down some. <laughs> I 
because now you got me tempted to do bone. <laughs> uh, right, so I need a <coughs> base more gas. Right, I need that opening. I need to put a, a ball bearing in there. And then give it a good old shake. Hey, Lindsay. Hi. Guess who's in trouble again? You. Yeah. Oh, dear. Two guesses for why. I'm not <laughs> saying it. I'm not saying, but two guesses why. <laughs> oh, that, that needs a bit of liquid in that. So. That's enough. Don't need no more than that. Should be sufficient. You've not got you into trouble, have I? No, no. No, no. Not at home, anyway. Oh. Just leave it at that. I really need to sort some attack because it's getting a bit childish now. Oh, okay. I think I can guess what you're on about. Mm. <clears throat> do, 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 do. So don't forget the link is in the chat if anybody wants to come in and join us. And I'm in here. So you're welcome. I don't bite unless you ask nicely. Do I, know I was it? just about to say that. <laughs> I don't do I though. I was about to say, as I say, you don't bite, you nibble. No, you nibbles. <laughs> Nothing like a good nibble. Mm. <laughs> Our Dave likes to have a good nibble. Yeah. You know what? I'd just like to be able to go on the internet and have no dilemmas. Mm. Yeah. If it continues, uh, you know, I'm just going to stop streaming. Simple. Don't do that. At the end of the day, why should you do that just to suit others? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> Well, I just don't want the the hassles. Yeah, well, I please, I please everybody every chance I can, and I just seem to get hassled back. Mm. And I'm not talking about the potatoes. <laughs> see what I did there? See what I did there? I did. I don't I think did. anybody will hassle you, Bruce. <laughs> oh, I don't they think do. anybody would. They do. Trust me. They do. Yeah. There, there's been some drama lately. I, 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 I just... I mean, yeah, I can understand why I'm being asked. And it's not as though I didn't do it because... I used to go streaming with a lot of people, but I've got a lot more people to contend with now, and I I can only share myself out so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It's like, yeah, but you were my friend first type thing. Oh, um, no. No. Uh, no. Yeah. And that, that gets I, annoying. I do, I do feel guilty for it, but it can't always be that way. And now I'm giving Michelle the shakes because stressing yourself out. Yeah. 
and that's when I start getting a bit <clears throat> I like this colour Lindsay it's nice oh yeah I like that oh yeah and actually I screwed up I was talking about the uh, the horse being uh, my blood knights it's actually my uh, the Ozark Ozark uh, knights <coughs> Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I send the invites out. It's entirely up to them if they take it. I mean, if they say if they say no, I'm engaged in otherwise. Then, yeah, you say okay, buddy. We'll see you at another time. Well, the thing is, I was actually in the bathroom when your messages were coming through, and I was in a position to answer them. Mm -hmm. um, the one I've received while I've come back to my bench mm -hmm. I didn't know was there until I just looked oh right okay uh, so like alright it was there first but wasn't the first answered I'm afraid no Ooh. oh I don't think I'll need to go black in between these poems. Looking at this. Yeah, as I say, I usually use, I'm just about to do the Ashanti, or the uh, Reich and Flesh between the poems right now. Just what I was thinking. Just do a bit of Reichland. Mm hmm. Yeah. So if this is going a little bit fine. That's what's going to get done. Yeah, because if you come in... Carl's had to go to the post office, hasn't he? Yeah. Did he say what for? It says uh, some parcels or something. Oh. I think. No, I know. I think he said post his bin. Whether they've got to collect them or not, I don't know. Shouldn't have to. Not unless they're about to go there for some other some other reason. The only thing I hadn't decided on this guy is how I want to do the armor. I don't know if I want to do it a rusted color, or if I want to do it. Um, is he a dead or is he alive? He's undead. He's undead. So you yeah, don't he's want, a skeleton. Yeah, you don't want bright, bright, shiny colours, and you, you want rustic. Yeah, but it's armor, so I was kind of—I don't know if I want to—if I want to do him as a zombie or if I want to do him where he's actually put new armor on the horse. Yeah. To protect the horse a little bit but and same thing with them i don't know you know with the rider <clears throat> that's where i'm kind of that's why i hadn't really touched this guy I was working on getting all my stuff uh base colored for the gaming boards and all lately i'm with you and I managed to finally clear one whole bin. Wow. I have base coats down on one whole bin of walls to where I can go in and do the highlighting now. Uh, so how many bins have you got left to do? Uh, five? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're not... <laughs> You're not even halfway yet. No, um, no, I'm not even halfway. But it's it's more getting the um, organizing it down to what's going what's going where because I'm kind of making it where I can um, uh, get the walls organized into certain sections of walls. Right. 
I, I take it they're not all the same. No. no. They would never would be, would they? Oh, no. No, there's, there's different designs to the walls, yeah. I haven't done a shading as a layer like this in a long time. And I'm actually liking the way it looks. And I think I might come back with a dry brush over it with Ushanti Bone. Just to see how it looks. Actually, I like that. I do. Ooh. Sprue, you gave me ideas. Scary. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh oh. When you when you brought up using when you brought up the Reich and Flesh shade as a re as in you between were the joints. For, yeah, in between the joints as a recess. I, I was like, yeah, that would look good as a recess. It'd work, wouldn't it? Yeah. And I was thinking, you know, Ashanti Bone, I was like, I want usually I use the Reich and Flesh shade after i do my highlights and everything just to kind of blend everything together yeah but coming in beforehand and letting it dry i'm like ooh, i you guys give me painting ideas <laughs> thanks oh and Lindsay. yeah uh, miss connie had to talk me out of a model yesterday all right <laughs> I was talking with her after I was talking with her after work and I happened to be at a Warhammer store mm -hmm. and, and I picked up the um uh the Space Marine gunship. Uh-huh. And I had it in my hand and I was talking about it because I went there for paint because I was running <laughs> low on uh lead belcher. And she's like, you don't need any more plastic models. I was like, yeah, but it's cool. It, it, and I want to do it so so Lindsay can see it. <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was like, I was going to do my take on it. <laughs> she's like, ah. It is a gorgeous model, though, isn't it? Yes. And I've actually done them before. I've actually mm. got one that I got from a friend of mine that's kind of <clears throat> it, it was in pieces yeah that i'm gonna use as a terrain piece i'm gonna make a crashed um uh, uh a wrecked one hi athol welcome in buddy nice to see you hey athol hi athol how you doing mate Right, so that's what I've got, Lindsay, on one side at the moment. You don't need big screen for this. Oh, wow. Oh, that came out nice. That's nice. And all it is, is in between the bones with the black, and then whole paint with uh, Green Stuff's matte surface primer. Mm -hmm. And then I've just gone over with uh which one was it uh morgast bone yeah straight from the pot but I've, i have put about 30 drops of water in the pot because it was like really thick 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 and gooey so yeah. i thinned it down a tad and that's what it's yeah. come out like it's come out great that has yeah perfect, isn't it? yeah yeah it is and what i'm gonna do is just brush on some rykland Mm -hmm. and uh, see how that comes out. Nice. I'm going to use the same uh, uh, brush as well, the large. Uh, Actually. Number four. Sprue. Oh. Yep. It'll, look, it'll look like that. That's a Rushanti. That's cool. Oh, come on, focus camera. There That's we go. Cool. It's not as bright as this picture, though, uh, Lindsay. No, well, the picture's different to the actual build anyway. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna brush some uh, Reichland, but what I'm gonna do is put the Reichland in there uh, with a, a few drops of water so that mm -hmm. it's not as potent. Okay, 
Okay, our falls in. Uh, hello, I am within. Still windy and rain and showers. It's not too great here either, Apple. Yeah, I've been for my shower. We've had the wind and rain. Mm. Yeah, we've got. We had showers yesterday, and it's kind of rainy today. But... Yeah, the uh, gunship and uh, the interceptor—they're both ready for lacquer now, uh, Snowy. Oh wow! I'll show you. Cool. In a bit. I don't think you've seen them actually, have you? Complete, uh, complete. Uh, I can't remember if I popped in or not. Because usually you're on while I'm at work. You're going to by then. I'll just say that, you know. I'll throw it out there. What, asleep? No. Oh, if I come home in the afternoon, yeah, I usually yeah. take a nap. Yeah. No, because I did the dio buttons as well. See, I'm not worried about slopping this on the black paint either because that's just a primer at this stage. Well, even if you get it on there later, you can always go in and clean it up and touch it up. Yeah. That's toning that lovely. Oh, that tone's come out. I... Hmm... I think that's always the best part of the model is that tongue because they are on them small ones as well. Yeah. Because it's got that kind of curl kind of shape to them. They're not just sticking straight out. They've got like a curl on them. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let that dry. Oh, yeah, add some more water to my brush cleaning pot. That's the gunship with its base. Oh. Yeah, I have seen the gun. Yeah. 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 That's that one. It's this one. Yeah. Got a glare on it. That's a bit better. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just got to lacquer it and decal it now. Actually, it wasn't the gun. It was the uh, the transport, the other one, the bigger one with the transport. Yeah, that I had. The, the interceptor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've but, done both those. Yeah. Before. So I'm gonna was, go uh, in a little while because my sister's coming, Lindsay. Yeah. Okay, mate. Okay. I'll, I'll stop as long as I can. Yeah. My sister's decided that she's when she's able, she's going to try and come in Saturday now. Yeah. So no worries, and she normally comes between three and half past four. So, and she she's just messaged to say, "Do you want any shopping?" So I said, "Yeah, just milk," because everybody needs milk. Yeah, milk does a body good. Okay, so uh, Affle says, See, Robert, this is what you are missing out on. Building and painting minis, but what you do is less expensive than what we GWers do. <laughs> Boy, ain't that the truth. <laughs> you have muted, Robbie. True, that very true. Yeah. But uh, I love what I do and... You, know, you enjoy it, don't you? I enjoy it, yeah. Okay, Affle says, afternoon, Manuel, and go for it. Affle says, uh, go for it. Should we go for it? He's put hope for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah, hope for it. Mm. All right, scary, scary part now. Dry brushing. 
Yeah, that's a fine art to get just right, isn't it? Yeah. I love dry brushing. I love dry brushing sometimes, but sometimes it comes out chalky. Mm. But Oh, I like the way that dry brush just came down on his back back leg. Oh, come on, focus. Oh yeah. I suck on just there. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And then the the back of the tail. That's cool. That's only like my second attempt dry brushing. I I don't usually dry brush models try and stay away from it just because it's so finicky see i can't do any dry brushing at the minute because my reichland is still wet yeah mine's just a touch on the tacky side i but see does that look okay spots. what do you reckon oh that came out nice yeah wow that's what it is do you reckon I should go a second coat or just leave it at that? Well, if you think it needs a second coat, because you can see it better than what we can. You see, yeah. I, I want I want to go in in between the bones neat, I think. Mm -hmm. But do I really need to is the question. I don't so, I don't know, but it's up to you. Yeah. I was about to say the same thing. It's let's have a go here. Like I said, the yeah, you can always try one little, you know, one little spot, and then if you want to go, you can go back over it if you don't like it. Uh, Apple says, "I'm like you, Snowy. I cannot be bothered dry brushing models, but if she insists, who I am, I am to say no." <laughs> really? Oh wow! <laughs> Athel has to come out with something like that, doesn't he? Oh, only Athel could think that one up. Yes. Yeah. Actually, the I problem like... is, I just don't have enough. I, I don't have. I don't do it enough to feel confident in dry brushing. Is my problem. Well, it depends on your model as well. I mean, does, yeah. she want, does she want you dry brushing? Yeah. Depends on how much you want to stroke it, doesn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> and it weren't me that said that this time. I know. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's, right. a, su that's a Sunday. That's a Sunday. What, you dry brush on a Sunday? Oh. No, y'all just broke me. No, you I, I have hole I have holes I have holes in my tongue right now because I had to bite my tongue. This is not you, my Sunday stream. I, I can't Oh no, you can't. Where are <laughs> you? Moist. We'll have to find you a safe word. Yeah. Strawberries. <laughs> in his case, raspberries. But he That's can't say strawberries without thinking of dry brushing. Ah. Ah. Too bright. I didn't get enough off. Yeah, I like going in there a little, little darker, I think, because that is uh, popping the joint between the bone and the content of inside if there was an inside that is uh mp says hi apple apple says uh, it's okay connie if you are lurking snowy didn't mean it though he thought it yeah it's no answer to that is it yeah it wasn't our fault really 
Dooby 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 dooby. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not y'all's fault that I have a surfboard with me at all times. Yeah. And I just said hi to Donatello and uh, looking for Scar. So how's your week been, Snowy? I'll ask you. Lindsay won't, but I will. Oh, it's been great. It's been a laid back week at work, sort of. Oh, oh, God, earlier in the week, you was uh, suffering a little, weren't you? Yeah. Uh, oh, that 3D model came out nice last night. <laughs> well, I do like getting this rifling in there, bud. Yeah, I decided to pick up the a regular miniature today instead of working on the on the walls because I, I, I've hit a burnout stage right now where I just don't want to paint because I'm doing so many uh, the terrain is just driving me insane. Yeah, I mean I've been at it for. Almost a month and month and some change. I haven't seen Connie today. I hope she's okay. She's doing uh, something for the yes. bits and pieces today. Yeah, I know it's Saturday, and I know she uh, wants to do other things at home at the moment. Yeah, but yeah. It, is not, it is still nice to know that she's there. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's running around. I haven't even, usually I text her when I get down to the shed. And... Believe it or not, when I, when I came on Michelle's stream this morning, I thought, oh, Connie will be there, we are Kermits. And then <laughs> when, when she wasn't there, I felt, no, oh, Connie. And then I remembered, uh, yeah, it's Saturday. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think she's off this weekend. I think she's off today i think this is her weekend off so she was wanting to do stuff around the house and get some yeah she needs some me time didn't she yeah she's uh starting to uh fade a little bit bless her i think is the nice way of putting things yeah, yeah. It's getting up so early to do streaming and then work on Yeah, the and then she's going straight to work. Yeah, it's, it, it can't be doing her a lot of good. I mean, we appreciate it, but at the end of the day, she's got a real life outside of us. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, but... Hmm. Because you do get burnt out in the end. Yes. Yeah. I went through that a couple of months ago. I just didn't want to stream at all. Yeah, I've run across that myself on a couple of occasions where I just... <clears throat> Somebody's microwave's just gone. Du, 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 dinner is ready. Oh no, you don't want to eat this. Okay. It's a uh, print. Yeah, that was my uh, my alcohol wash. Oh. Telling me it's ready to be pulled out. <laughs> I was just Linda, washing one of the new parts. He's warming his alcohol. Did you notice? Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Apple says, Lindsay, I found two books I purchased years back from uh, Games Workshop. Companies of Fenris and an even better Curse of the Wolfen, which are both good reads and show wolves to the 
nth degree. Length degree. Nth degree, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, those, yeah. It's another, it's another way of saying they go really deep into it. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, those two books, yeah, Companies of Fenris and Curse of the Wolf, and I have both of them. Uh, it's more the gaming gaming aspect of it. They give you uh, a lot of ideas to work with for doing your army. I think Companies of Fenris was the painting book. I said I need to clean the shed so I can actually get to my bookshelves back there. In the back, I've got those books somewhere back there, I think. Dude, don't change the habit. We like oh, your I bench see. all scruffy and rustic. It's oh, no, like it's not Terry. the... It's oh. like Terry's. It's got to look a certain way, and we've we've grown to enjoy Terry's bench, believe it or not, uh, <laughs> just taking the mick out of him. Yeah. Yeah. It's because on, so I can't I can't get to the layout to actually start working on the layout right now because there's so much stuff that I've got piled up in the aisle way. Mm. It's just driving me nuts. That's why I need it's not really I, I just need to organize. It's a chaotic mess. The, the shed looks like a hand grenade went off in the back. Mm hmm. Like if we went round Robbie's now, all you'd see in Robbie's is a ball of wool and a diamond dot. I'll bet. <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah, it's, it's pristine. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Mark, it's pristine. Well, yeah. And the bad thing is, is, I used to keep my shed that way, and then after I broke the layout, I kind of was like, eh. Yeah, yeah, I just don't have the motivation to clean and organize anymore. And I have too many projects going, which didn't help. Because I would move one thing out of the way to do one project and then move something else out of the way. To do some else. I'm the do, same. To do some other stuff. I'm the same. <clears throat> and it's kind of why the shed got... I've got my Warhammer project. I've got my hobby projects, which is my main hobby is model making. And yeah. then I've got my diamond dots. <clears throat> and like, where do I start? I mean, some folks will say, oh, you're coming on the street tonight. What are we doing? Anything you like. Oh, gold. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't give me that option because yeah, I'll be sitting here for option. an hour going, what am I going to do? Yeah. It tests me. It, it's like, do you, it, what it's am like, I in the mood for? Yeah. It's like, do I do old world 40K? Do I do, where'd he go? Do I do Horus Heresy? Do I do Imperialis? Do I do 40K? Um, oh, no, I don't have that worry. I mean, to me, Warhammer's Warhammer. I don't, I don't pick a, a, a subject. It, it's Warhammer to me. It's just oh, no, yeah, Warhammer. Well, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's like which which game system do I play with? And then yeah. it's like, you know, do I do the train or do I do terrain? It's like, yeah. My problem is I have I have too many game systems within Warhammer that I have pieces and bits of. I have bits and bobbles because I like the models. Yes. Um, and it's one of those... Oh, I need you. Uh, and then I have custom pieces that I'm doing within that um, that I've been working on lately. And it's just... It, it kind of... It gets to a point where I'm just like burning out on everything. Where did my cursor go? There it is. I, li I like these milk tops off your milk cartons. They are absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I need to get... I need I to find something every, like every, that. Every, I've got my other half. Every time we have a carton of milk, he's saving me these lids. <laughs> because when I want to do some 
uh, painting, there's a little pot for washing your scruffy brush. Yeah. There's a little pot for your paint. And then I've got my rag for when I'm dry brushing. So, yeah. More cast. I don't want more cast. That's flayed flesh one. Shab tea or oh, scream it now. I'll use a shab tea. What are you going for your next layer up, Sprue? Yeah, but I need more yes. bearing first. Trying to, trying to get hold of these little bull bearings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now when you've got chunky fat fingers and your ball bear yeah, like i get three mil round <laughs> yeah yeah i was gonna say if it's the uh if it's the green stuff world ones the, yeah or uh was it army oh, no, I just bought generics oh okay i, I can't remember generics. I, just, I remember seeing those two but i can't remember if i got the generic brand or if i got it specifically from one of the model companies But I always buy stainless. Yeah. Because I don't want them rusting. Because I don't know. Yeah, then, then, the then you end up with stuff like this. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, I have got <laughs> But yeah, some of that. Yeah. Right. I'm not wasting that bit of paint. All right. Where is... Oh, there it is. It's like, where's my detail brush? Now, if my hands will stay steady enough to do this. I have more people at work laugh and get very, very concerned when I'm working with a screwdriver and my hands start shaking. I'm wondering where it's going to end up. <laughs> Yeah. That's like, is he going to blow himself up with that? Or. Oh, this is coming out lovely. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sprue. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow. You got me back into painting miniatures. No, I didn't. You were, yes, you did. You were doing that and you were talking about doing bone. And I was like, oh, I want to work on some bone. And I'm, I started doing it. And as you're sitting there talking, I'm sitting there looking at what I'm doing with the Ushanti bone coming in picking out highlights and it's like oh this is coming out nice yeah but I dude, like you, the need, tone. You, need, you need to thank Lindsay because this is a gift from Lindsay and if it weren't for Lindsay I wouldn't be doing it oh uh, well thank you Lindsay <laughs> wow see it goes down the chain <laughs> I can't wait to tackle this black. Black can't wait for you to tackle it either. Oh, wow. That's come out lovely. I like that. I must admit, I do love Warhammer. Yeah, Citadel just... They have some just amazing amazingly detailed models that you can go in and paint and it's like 
the, the further I get on it, the, the more I see details in it that I'm like, I need to pick that out. It's like, and then I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, that is. Oh, wow. That's nice. Yeah. Come out all right, isn't it? Yeah. I like the gradient down. It really, yeah. That rib cage has come out perfect, I think. Yeah. Might need, might need to do a bit more there, maybe. <clears throat> Okay, Affle says, just reflecting back to when I built armor in 135th scale, I had multiple boxes of US Delta squads and Marines from Dragon and my Ravine patrol boat in action. Oh, wow. Ooh. All right, I got to change glasses. See, all I've here. done is kept the brush going the same way. I've not changed anything else. Yeah. Back of the model to the front. That's all I've done there. And I like it. I like it. La 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 la. Here we go. Painting all over this plastic. Hmm, I like that. Now then, this is the bit I'm scared of. Because I, I've now got to... What did I do? Uh, was that Screaming Skull? Or Ushanti? Which one did I do it? Ushanti? It was Ushanti, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, your second layer from your base was Ushanti. Yeah, it was, yeah. So it's that one, that one <laughs> then this one. Yeah, that's why I usually, when I set my pots aside, I usually set them in in, in the order. Huge, yeah. Yeah. I try to do. But I, I've got I try to keep the paint the... here as well, you see. Yeah. Yeah, I try and leave my, my triads together in the order that I would do them. Although sometimes it gets a little, little hard to keep up with. Right, so tad highlighting with a layer paint. This is a layer paint. Yeah. Let's let's see how I get on here. Because all I want is the edge of the bone. I don't know how this will turn out, so. I'm hoping it'll work. But hey, this is sprue, remember? It's all trial and error, buddy, trial and error. Yeah, but I don't want to spoil yeah. it. It really is a nice model. Well, you know, the good thing about it, Sprue, is if you have a paint, uh, like, I don't know, over in the UK, if you have access to, like, Aliens Totally Awesome or um, Simple Green, which is a degreaser and stuff, you can remove the paint off with a paintbrush and start all over. Yeah, we use uh, De uh, Dettol. Okay. I actually cringe when people say, oh, I use brake fluid. Oh, no. oh, no. My God, no. It will melt 
plastic if you are not careful with it. I don't oh, use, I, I, I don't use oh, brakes. That's, they're, they're so corrosive. Yeah. I mean, they're not good for your skin, so why would you yeah. put it on plastic? <laughs> but it actually penetrates the plastic and contaminates it. It does, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's like when you remove chrome from plastic parts. I use what they call the thick, easy bleach. I use a cheap bleach, yeah. Thick, and, thick. Uh, but you've got to make sure you wash it thoroughly to get the contaminants out of it. Yep. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think I've cracked that. I think I've cracked that, you know. Oh, I do like this. I'm glad I went for this colour. Not the colour I suggested, is it? No. You sure? Yeah. Well, I can't take no glory then. No, no glory for you today. No. Sorry. <clears throat> Robbie. Yeah. You can join in, you know. I know. I just like seeing what you guys are doing. That's all. Oh, we're only waffling. Yeah, I know. We're just, we're just <laughs> waffling off the mouth. <laughs> yeah, we're That's just fine with me. We're we're just bashing the chops, you know. Oh yeah, we're just, we're just talking garbage. I, I, mm. I mean, look it's at not... Snowy. He comes in. He'll talk about any old shit. <laughs> Under the, yeah. under the, sorry, oh, sorry there, uh, Lindsay, oops. Yeah, you just swore. I did, oops, sorry. It comes out once in the blue moon, doesn't it? Yeah, unfortunately, I do apologise, bud. Please don't beat me at the end of the show. Mm. He won't. He might. Yeah, but you'd like it, Sprue. Oh, he would. He'd love it. Don't tell everybody. <laughs> really? Oh, you give all my secrets away, you lot. Be lots of uh -huh. good spending. Um, Apple says, I agree, Lindsay, that paint looks brilliant. Yeah. Certainly does, Apple. It's a good choice, this was. Mm -hmm. mm. Ow. Scratches well though. Oh yeah. I, just, I don't like this black layer, bottom layer paint. See, just, that's why I put a primer on first. Mm. Just scratched it. Oh, dude! Took the bloody paint off. I almost like it like that, but I'm like. Mm -hmm. I like it like that. So I'm not going to go over neat with that bit. <clears throat> it's because I'm watering my paint down. Uh oh. Chat. Yeah. Mine's that subtle, I don't think anybody can notice what I'm actually doing. Yeah, that's what I was looking at with what I was doing here. It's like, I, I, I'm edge highlighting on some of this, but I was like, I can't even tell what I've edge highlighted over what I dry yeah. brushed. And it's like, holy. <laughs> I mean, like... can you tell I've highlighted? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, there, there's no, can't yeah, really you can't can't hardly can't tell. tell, yeah. Yeah, it, it's just, it, it's blended so well into it that you really... Ah. <laughs> I 
Are you okay down there, buddy? Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, he's just having a hissy. I hissy I, I, bit? Yeah. I'm picking out stuff that... Th this is so outside my comfort zone for painting right now that... I, I just... Uh, yeah. He's getting his G-strings in a twist. Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, he only just untangled them after getting in. Mm. <laughs> Had them on back to front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what, why, why does the movie... Oh, what movie was that? Oh, Big Hero 8, I think. I don't know. No. I don't do movies that well. <laughs> oh, it was... One of the guys... It was... a. Uh, Oh, it was a superhero, superhero cartoon movie. Not Batman and Robin. No, 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 no. It was uh, like Big Hero. It was one of the Marvel ones, but the, the one guy was, I think it was a Stan Lee cameo in the cartoon. It was Stan Lee. They're talking about underwear. It's like forward, backward, uh, inside out, right side in. And it was just, I, I was just tickled. And that just reminded me of that. And I don't remember what movie it was. Mm. But it was a whole group of them that kind of discovered being a superhero. Mm -hmm. Okay, Apple's got a tip here. It says, tip for using mists. Apply one coat and leave it to cure for at least four hours before reapplying anything to lighten up or shade it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to have to get my, one of my sons to go and go and get me loads of primer. I've, I've used up three big tins. In the last lot of boards I've done. Wow. Oh yeah. Well, that's like all the so all the uh, lead belcher I've done lately. I've gone through. I've gone through all my airbrush lead belcher, and then I realized mixing um, my thinner. I found a great consistency to do just regular. My regular pots of citadel paint mm -hmm. and get it to go through the airbrush nicely and i was like oh i've run out so i can now do that instead i can just get the regular paint and not have to pay the couple dollars more for the airbrush paint oh a lot oh yeah i can see it you now. get about the same amount Oh, I can see it now. Oh, nice. All right. I like it like that. Do, 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 All do. Right. Shanti. I don't know. Should I go from a Shanti to Screaming Skull or Flayed One Flesh? Mm. Yeah, I was highlight. born with that. I've gone from a shanty to screaming. Okay. If that helps. He's screaming. I like the effect. Yeah. But you do have to wait for it to dry for you to be able to see the effect. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's why one I stopped on because I looked at it. I was like, oh, my God, that just came out too bright. And I was like, wait a minute. Let me wait for it to dry and see if it yet yeah, toned down. Okay. It's not as bad. It's mainly where it would be in shadow anyhow underneath the legs, underneath the body. I was trying to keep the deep 
deep color in the recesses. Mm. And I'm almost half temp. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, What's this color mm. once it's lacquered? one thing I like about this Warhammer stuff the panel lines are nice and deep yes they're crisp aren't they yeah yeah they're yeah that's the one thing I did like about it with a lot of the their vehicles and that especially the star we uh the sky weaver like you have it's like there, there's you can do so much with the panels the way they're set up the arch we use the kit decals as well i shan't mask it off and do it <laughs> yeah i The decals for them I like, but sometimes I just water slide transfers and I don't get along sometimes. Mm. I've almost got to the point where I end up hand painting most of my uh, uh, details and that. <clears throat> uh, Apple says, Snowy, it's your model. You do with it as you please. <laughs> and also, he says, uh, and not every model has to be the same paint wise, as a variation is the spice of life. Of course, it is. Yes. Yeah. And that's one of the things that's fun with what I'm doing right now with the old world stuff. And the uh age of sigmar stuff is i'm basically doing knights who are coming from different areas different backgrounds different families and the heraldry is going to be so much fun to do different ones for different people so there'll be a whole lot of variation with them this is actually going to be a diorama that's going to take me the better part of a year to do it's actually going um, to the local Warhammer store by me for Armies on Parade this fall. I think it's one of two that I'm going to bring up. So is it is it a commission or something that it's yours but still taking it down there? Oh, it's th this is mine that I'm taking down there to show off. All right. Something I'm trying to get Sprue to do more of. Show, show his work at the store. Or at least online and hashtag it with uh, Warhammer. Because <clears throat> you, you, you two are amazing with, with the details y'all put in stuff. That's why I was like, when Sprue was talking about doing the bone and how he was doing it, I was like, I need to watch and pick up some things and see if I could actually still do it justice. Dude, don't take tips off me. I'm shy. <laughs> Makes you laugh. <clears throat> you really? are not. You are not. Uh, Spur, you don't give yourself enough credit, mate. What's up, little man? Who told that? I might just have enough time to have a cigarette off camera and still be here. But 
Um, let me put the uh, blue board under that so you can see. You've got to go, uh, buddy. I don't know how I want to do his cloth. What is that? Don't know what that's going to look like, but there you go. That's what I've got so far. Oh, mate. Dude. Oh. That's uh, white, uh, black on white, uh, white on black with Morgast bone and then Ushab tea and then uh, a tad of Screaming Skull for the edging. Now, wait a minute. Did, you didn't go in with the Reich and Flesh Tone, did you? Yeah. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, that's in there. I was about to say, because I see the really dark in the recesses. I'm like, is that the Morgas? I was like, I may end up going up to the store and buying Morgas today. <laughs> Instead of using the, the uh, laundry. It's the dark brownish. But it yeah, Reichland over it. Okay. But that, that's that's what I got from it. And I'm just going to sit here and uh, have a cigarette. Cause Ethel, uh, which Thunderhawk? You talking about the Forge World Thunderhawk? Or the new plastic Thunderhawk? From... Uh, uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Imperialis. Because if it's the Forge World one, I'm jealous. <laughs> there you go. That's what I've got. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. look at the belly there, Lindsay. That's definitely oh. had a few chip butties in it. All right. I do like that colour. Yeah. All right. Where can I... Right, that's out of the camera range. Cool. Mm. Uh, paper towel, paper towel. All right. <coughs> I'm hoping Apple approves of what I've done, actually. Yeah, I like the way that turned out. I haven't done the extreme highlight yet. Actually, I know what else is missing. I forgot to turn on my other light. There we go. That helps bring it out. Oh, that's better than mine. What are you moaning at? No, it's not. You've got better highlights. I haven't done my extreme highlight yet. You haven't done your highlights. Yeah, I haven't finished with the highlights yet. Let's put you on big screen. Let's get a close up. I love that. Wow. Oh, wow. That's nice. That is amazing. Dude, that looks like one of them what's the names in that museum where they've got sections yeah inside out animals and whatnot yeah that looks thank awesome. you You're welcome. Know, you want to know a scary thing mm -hmm. it's the first time i've done that that's that dry brushing like that that's cool that is very real almost so surreal wow yeah and Spru's got the higher um, shining on it. I haven't done. I've still at least one to two layers away of finishing this. That's just two layers done. 
That's excellent, yeah. that is. I like that. Mm hmm. Definitely. I've got a. I don't know. I may be able to get away with it with my medium layer brush. I don't have an artificial brush that has a good tip on it right now. And I really don't have any really fine detail brushes. No, I don't. Yeah. They cost too much money, them ones. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get away from having like eight different brushes that I'm picking up and painting with at any given moment. But yeah. Oh, that's well nice. Mm. Cool. Uh, Apple says, Snowy, the new the newer Thunderhawk plastic kit. Apple says, it looks good so far, Sprue. And MP yeah, says, excellent work, Snowy. The newer Thunderhawk. Oh, wait a minute. Which... Now i got to look it up because I'm thinking... I can't remember which one... Wow, that's impressive, Dave. Yeah, you're oh my god, Dave. That yeah, is impressive. like I said, I haven't gone in to do the really high edge yet of it to get my gradient in. Wow, gives me something to shoot for, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> All right. It's not bad. You're right. It's not bad. It's excellent. It's cool. I can't put it on a plinth thing, a handle. I mean, once you start painting that head, that will really bring that out as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is going to look awesome, this. I like that head. That's always so much fun. <coughs> as soon as I saw it, I, it reminded me of Kaiju. Yeah. As soon as I saw that. I was like, I liked, I and liked this, that one that I one, found. This other one is like, wow, really? Look at that. Yeah, it looks like, looks like aliens. Yeah. Or not alien, um, alien. predator. Yeah, from the like an alien like predator alien. hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> It does. The Predator Hybrid from Kaiju. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Where is it? Nice. Thank you very much. Uh, MP Model Plastic says very good effects, bro. Cheers, dude. <sighs> The test will come when I do all the lilacs and whatnot under the shell there. Because mm. that's yeah. flesh under there. It's <coughs> like I might have fun with this one. That's My Carnifex I plan on doing as um, Old oh One Eye. Oh, wow. Dude, back it up a bit. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's that's one of the Carnifexes from the uh, Leviathan box set. Right now, he's just primed, but wow, there was an old old model that GW had called Old One Eye that I've got to find pictures of because he's getting painted up as that at yeah, some okay. point. I've now got to match this side. To this side. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You'll get be, there. That's going to be fun, isn't it? You'll get there. From plastic well, just... to paint. Uh, Apple says, remember, Sprue, to continue that same paint on the underneath of the tail of the section. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's got to go right the way through that lot. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> uh -huh.
Yeah, it's got to go right through all that. And then under under the main shelf here, under the carapace, mm -hmm. that's all lilac and bloody and that's right. Is and ooh, yeah, gooey stuff. Hence why that's still primed because I knew I'd have overcatch. Mm -hmm. oh, um, I'm, I'm pleased. Are... With that. I really am pleased with that. I've done, done a nice little bit of work there. I think. I need to let this lot dry now for a while because there's about three or four layers of paint on that. Mm. These figures are going to be a pain in the neck to paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, I I love Eldar to pieces, but after doing Space Marines and Imperial Guard, it's like trying to paint a human figure. Then. Mm. And the Harlequin paint jobs are even more finicky. Yeah, because on the box art. <laughs> oh, don't. Yeah, you don't even need to show. <laughs> yeah. Can you see it? <laughs> oh, I, I know it. I, I've done that one. Uh, yeah. I mean, just the, look the, at the detail that's in those figures. Yeah. Yeah, the star the star weaver. I've actually done one. Actually, I've got it. No, actually, I sold it. Sold it a while back. I was gonna say, yeah, they're. Um, yeah, they're they're a lot of fun. But I actually did the. Um, I did a red and blue diamond pattern. On the uh, legs, mm. and oh, it was like six attempts. <laughs> yeah, because you don't get no decals for the figures, do you? Yeah, not. I don't think you do anyway. I think you only get them for the uh, cinema jacket. Yeah, another. Yeah, they're all paint um, for the most part. Yeah, you don't get them for the Oh, I don't know how I want to do this. If I want to do it, mm, I'm just going to do it. Go for it. Yeah, no. I, I'm All the skin. I, I'm doing the the Talbert as skin. Hey, hey, Carl's back. Hey, Carl. Hey, Carl. Hey, Carl. Affle's just going to go and change his dressing on his leg. Okie dokie. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. Yeah. I wonder if the post office was still open, seeing as Harry went after one o'clock. Mm. Sometimes they shut for dinner or shut early, don't they, on a Saturday? Yeah, on a Saturday. Yeah, they do in England. Is it too late to join? Um, oh, too late. Yeah, you're okay. I shall go until four thirty. And then we'll just have to quickly go then because it'll be over that time. Yeah. Thank you for having me, Lindsay, and I'll see you next week. All right, buddy. Yeah. Check All right, buddy. Have, have a good one, Robbie. Take care. I will. You too. Bye -bye. See you again. Bye. See you again. Okay, we've got two pace, two spaces left. If anybody wants to join, if the link is hey, in. Carl. The yeah, all right. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, that's all right. Hi, Michelle. Oh, that's all right, mate. She's, hey, Michelle. She's preoccupied. I bet she's in the kitchen. 
next room to it. Oh, she's in that room. Yeah. Oh. She powered me. <laughs> <laughs> she's in the little girl's room. Yup. Yes, Screw, I did make the post office. It was still open. Oh, did you uh, get your packages? I've actually come home with one, two, three, four, five packages. Wow. Holy and smoke. I left, and I left one there. You left one? Yeah, I posted one. Oh. Oh, God. So you went with, how come you had to pick your packages up? I didn't. Oh. I, I had two to pick up and two already delivered. Three delivered. Oh. The three, you know when we finished? Yeah. Yeah. As you left, I think Lindsay was still here. The postman arrived. Okay. But I had to get to the post office to post Arky's parcel. Yeah, and seeds. Oh, of course, yes. I forgot about that. So, are we going to get to see uh, unboxings? We are, but I'm hoping Michelle is up because I want Michelle to see it as well. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, come on, Michelle. Pull your panties up. I can show you. I can show Snowy. Oh, hi, Snowy. Hi, Robbie. Hello. Robbie's gone. Oh. Oh wow. Which is what is that? Is that that's what uh, some no? It's one of the nuns or something. Oh, one of the sisters of battle. Something like that. Yeah, it's off yeah, uh, JC. Oh yeah. I'm just. Started painting that today. <clears throat> so far, it, in what contrast. size is it? Wait a minute. How? What size is that? Is it one that somebody 3D printed? Yeah. JC. Oh, okay. Mom. Yeah, sorry. sorry. That's all right. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to ask JC where he got that. That from on the online. Oh wow! Yeah. I like that. Ooh. It's quite nice. Yeah. What <laughs> else? Sisters of our martyred lady, the red and black. <laughs> it's a fun paint scheme, but boy, sometimes it just. I'm making up my own Black is so hard to... That's, that's what he sent me. That's what he's done. That one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, doing the doing the gradient on the black is just... I can never get it right. I can never find a... A gray... To I'm highlight the black. There. Hi, Horlix. Hey, Horlix. <laughs> We can take this off bigger than if you want, unless you want me to. Uh, all it says good afternoon, all cooking away, but sending thumbs up. Uh, Apple says, uh, Lindsay, tip to consider using if you have it, use plasterboard tape. So I just got a notification, it's got right across my chat. Uh, plasterboard tape to create diamonds on them ships as it can be used multiple times. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Apple. Good idea. Yeah. Better than the way I did it. <laughs> I basically took a very, very thin brush with thin down black paint and made my made my pattern down the leg and then went in and picked out each individual section of diamond with the paint that I was doing color scheme here 
Yeah, you don't know how it went in, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> Holy, <laughs> Holy packing tape, Batman! No, nah, I had to secure that. I really did have to secure that. Uh, oh, wow! Paul <laughs> says, "Hey, all, Sprue, Lindsay, great to see you, Carl, Fenris, and all in chat." Apple says, "Hi, Carl." Plus, Michelle and Alex. All it says, "Hi, Apple." Are you having a job to get into that? What? Oh, I glue it. Your address is on it through him, so it's mine. So it, just... It's when he picked it up and went, bloody quick. Tape on it. Look at that. That's shiny. Dude, I didn't want it coming there's out. No, there. There's no cardboard anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to go in through the bottom. <laughs> I told Michelle to hurry up, but she hasn't, so. Oh. <sighs> well, I've got five minutes because my sister's just arrived, so. Well, what I will say is, I know who this is off, and I know what it is. And Sprue's been godsend to me. Oh, shut up. Mm. Well, not only is he a good friend, I think he's sick of watching me with paintbrushes. <laughs> I think he wants to see me struggle. Hi, Manuel. <laughs> hey, Lisa. hey, Manuel. Hi, Manuel. Hi, Thank you for inviting me for coming in this week. God, blimey. Oh, wow. There's him. I know. <gasps> <gasps> Somebody got a compressor. I got a compressor. Nice. I think I have. Ah, nice. Which, uh, um, I don't know, it's Michelle. They're Is just, that the Nadeco? No, they're just generics. Okay. Michelle's got some. They're, they're Michelle's tubs returned. <laughs> <laughs> it, was them that, it was them that weighed all the packaging down. Oh, thank you, Sprue. You You're know welcome. I'm going to be, a, you know I'm going to be a pain in the ass, dude. It was just sat here on the bench. I've got me one with me tank, so that was just sitting there, gathering a bit of dust. So I did clean it, but you might want to clean it to your standard. The airbrush is clean, right. and it is oiled. Right. right to release your needle. Oh, has that got bent? Yeah. Oh, it's only the casing, hopefully. Straighten it, straighten it gently. I'll, I'll, I'll wait until I can do it off. Yeah, all you do is un undo the back cap and unscrew the black cap. Oh, God, I think it's waste of time. Okay, Thank you. Says, uh, see, Carl, Sprue knows it rains up there, and so went over with the top with the packaging. JC bricks and builds his back, and he says, I am back, just finished my stream. Hope yes, you had uh, I did see, I did have you open, JC. I was watching, and uh, I did leave a thumb up for you, bud. Uh, we've got J Rock in, and he says, I uh, hope you all. Oh, you are, are having an awesome weekend. We are. Thank you. We are. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Thank Bye you. Merry Christmas. Right. <laughs> oh. It's Christmas they, in May without the and snow. This one, and this one. Uh, talking of snow, we've just had some. Really? <laughs> yeah, we left here. It was raining. Got to Nearly got to Ballater and it was sleet. And then it started snowing. Oh, wow. No, it's back to rain again. Uh, Apple says hi, J Rock. J Rock says hi. Oh. Oh. Uh, right. This one's off. Lindsay, who's uh, how can how can I put it, Lindsay? Struggles with one seventy two scale. I know. So he's been going through his stash. And he sent myself and screw some. Basically, basically, I'll give all my crap away. <laughs> Useful crap. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, wow, look at that. A resin graveyard. Ooh. Gonna be some dioramas here. <laughs> Ooh. I, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but I've got to go, guys. My sister's turned up. Okay, mate. Catch you later. Mate. Have fun. Have on a good one. There's on the tally. Bye. Thank you, Sprue. Thank you, Sprue. Mm hmm. Yeah, J Rock says it's supposed to rain here tomorrow, so today I am finishing up our rain collection system. Farm. Really resin bar. Oh wow. Cool. <laughs> And then the little box. <laughs> there should have been a diamond dot in that small box as well. And there should be a little should be a little package of accessories. Yes, I got that one. I saw that one. That's yeah, there should be a, should be a diamond dot in it as well. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure I found it. Up. That was off sprue, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Athel says, basically, I gave my wolf to Lindsay. He had to get rid of, rid of himself of his his minis. Yes. <laughs> to make room. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. How much sticks in that? Oh well, I'm not gonna put this. Uh, do you want me to move that onto the other table? <laughs> oh, right, then. Oh, right, then. We've got German World War One infantry figures. Sorry. Oh, so there's a set of ooh, British artillery, World War One. Another set of British World War One. And half the same as the same company as the truck. We used it plastic. There's another artillery World War One. I. I feel a diorama coming on. <laughs> World War One British Apex. American. World War II. I've got just the thing for that, and then you know what that is. Sorry, I'm just having a moment. Oh. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh. Yes, very good. Yeah. Actually, you know what? That once almost looks like a... Um... Chimera from uh, Warhammer 40k. Now I see where they got the design from. The one on the left hand side of that. <laughs> German World War One figures. It's like Christmas. Right? <laughs> uh, American World War Two. Looks like Philippines. The bomb Mohican. <clears throat> Oh, oh Simon. We've got two horse World War One horse artillery. Two of. <laughs> There's definitely a diorama in the making, yeah. And then Waffen SS. Oh, yeah. Pegasus hobby is not here for them. 
They're an old company, they are Pegasus. Oh, many other them. Oh, something here will tickle my mouth, don't see in a sack. Oh, more of it. Man, well, this will tickle your fancy. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's very good, the fuck of this, have it? Um, yes, the fuck of they're nice. There's a light there. This is one point. Oh, fucker. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, very good. You've got a box full of fuckers. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, Hello. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, my God. All right, come on. There is. That's the. I'm not sure which one's which, but I know one of them's... That's the thing, is it? Oh, that's a pound of time. If I was to say a lot, because <laughs> I know Lindsay's running out of time. <laughs> if I was to say there was a lot of 172 scale figures, yeah, I would not be exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> there's thousands of figures. I would yeah. say I'd say there's at least I'd say there's at least nine hundred figures there. Yes. Oh, it's got to be more. I'd say. Mm. Gotta be. I'll get the kids to count them. <laughs> oh, love you. Uh, oh. There's a gun emplacement. Wow. Oh no, that's not the gun emplacement, I don't think. I think that's... Yeah, it is, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah it is, yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's the gun emplacement. Yeah. That's 172 mm -hmm. scale, that is. That's huge. I know. You can imagine what the gun's like. Mm. Oh, little ripping. Another resin building, ruin building. Very good. Oh, I like that. They are actually. They have a nice little diorama. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I know one of these, but I'm not sure which one. Oh, I don't know. There's another plane, plane just floating around in the bottom of the box. <laughs> oh, yes. It's, it's like the one I'm working. I've never even heard of that company either. Elbow 3 ESCI. Oh, I have a cup. Hmm? Oh, no, one of these. I'm not sure. No, not that one, no. Oh, that's a tiny. One of these is a... That, um, that other one that goes with that coal, I'll put it inside that box, the big coal box. Ah, that's what I was looking for there. Yes, I think one of these is... Inside. <clears throat> so I'm not sure what that one is. Because it's got to open it and see. That is uh, LMC. LMC. It's actually a oh, landing craft. Oh, yes, I remember. Yes, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. And there's. And then there's just all various bits and pieces. Yeah, that's a half track. Yeah, there's about four or five there, half tracks. And a couple of vehicles. Mm -hmm. And a tank. Wow, oh my god. <laughs> you know the problem I've got now? Storing it. Why have you put it? Well, we have one more bookcase. Yeah. Where I've got no room to put okay. What I've got to find now is where to put my shell stuff. So that's <laughs> Charles in boxing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ah, Lindsay. Very good. Okay. You're very, very welcome. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, I can't see to build 172 anymore. It's just too small for me. So uh, there was no point in me hanging on to it. It's been in my stash for years. So, you know... Might as well give it to somebody who's going to make very good use of it. 
Well, it'll go in my stash, but it won't be there for years. It will get done, I promise. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can so That's we've got uh, MP, MP model plastic with us, Manuel. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, thank you, Lizzie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The uh, Horlick says, wow, what a whole call. Um, just a bit. Just a bit. Uh, yeah. Alpha says, me thinks Carl and Michelle will need an extension built or a bigger home. A bigger uh, house. Says, uh, do you have displays for your models or what does everyone do with them once done? Well, we do have display cabinets and get stuck on shelves or they get boxed up and put away somewhere. That's that's mine right behind me, the empty the empty one, because I've only just started modelling. Yeah, I've got a display case that was something my father had for displaying some of the NASCAR stuff he had. So it's got a race car on the top of it, but I've got all my a lot of my older Citadel uh, tabletop models in it right now. And actually, I'm onto another paint that I don't often use. Decided to use a contrast paint, um, Skeletal Horde, on the rider. <clears throat> yeah, definitely need to come in and highlight on top of that. I don't like how... Don't like how dark it is. Okay, so this is how far I've got today with this. Um, get the, the top coat is on on this Star Weaver. So, oh wow! I like that purple. Yes, yeah, it's it's cool, it, it is actually, um, is it Barakanar uh, Burgundy, uh, Snowy? Okay. Mm. It's, it's, it's nice, and that looked nice once that's lacquered. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Got that done in there. Now, all I've got to do is the. Uh, do the cockpit, get that detailed, and everything else, and then I can start button it and buttoning it up, get the engines in, and uh, I'll start dry brushing the uh, the weapon system on there, and then start pulling detail out and everything else. So you got like three weapons for this, and I've got the um, figures to start and paint. That's one of three. Yeah. So there's uh, two at the weapon systems at the back and then the pilot. So, yeah. So I've got all those to do. But now I'm going to wait until all this is dry because I don't want to keep picking it up and then start pushing fingerprints into it. Mm. So we will go to the next person. So we'll go to Snowy. Uh, yeah, I was just picking out the legs of the rider with uh, a skeletal horde contrast and doing the Talbert and Riken flesh tone. That's nice. Yeah, it's very like, good. So. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. I like yeah. the effect of mm. the ball. It's kind of realistic, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Like I said, it was really it's the first time I'd really gone in and done a dry brushing like that, and I like the effect it came out with. Mm. It's nice. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to MP. See what he's doing.
I'm working on the Albatross D3. 132 scale. Nice. I, I create the effect of the hole in the fuselage, you can see. Yep. I detail the, the machine guns, parts of the, the engine. All the details. And now I'm working on the to create the effect of the canvas in the wings. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I push the stripes to the, yeah. the yeah. action Backwards. of the, the yeah. whale to create the effect to the, to the camouflage because the, these planes are in tissue, not metal. Yeah, cool. Very, very nice. Thank you, Louis. I know Carl's only just got here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you manage to train that? Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. I think it just got the comp compressors just rested on it, I think. Yeah, I just want to hope it's not bent the needle. Yeah, I'll. When sprues are under, I'll take it apart so you can tell me to put it back yeah. together. <laughs> All right. Until I know to do it. That's what I was doing this morning. Yeah, that's that figure that uh, JC did for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. It's nice. It's coming out quite nice. Yeah. Please. Quite pleased with the detail. That is head. nice. Oh, yeah. yeah Carl, hold, hold the uh, airbrush up real quick. I want to take a look at it. Is that, is it got Nadeco written on the side of it? Is that what that one is? No, it doesn't. It looks, doesn't hasn't got a name on it. Okay. It looks very similar to... Where is it? Uh, looks very similar to this one. That's why I was kind of wondering. It almost looks like the same style. Yeah. I haven't got a clue. I was just trying to hold it then. I'm trying to try and go, would you, how do you use it? <laughs> I've, never even, I've never used one. Oh, it's the first thing you've ever held one. Yeah. <laughs> this is the little, the little handle at the very front, just underneath that pot, is a, a fine air. Yeah, you can turn the air up and down and get a real, real light air and not have to change your compressor around. Right. So you can actually you open it wide open and set your compressor to about 20 psi, and then you can move that night that that handle down and actually lower it almost down to zero without having to change your compressor very nice dave oh dave's that ain't that's right i forgot sprue left already yeah he's already gone mate okay so J Rock says do you guys ever free build the model like once i had a say a want to say it was a 62 impala and turned it into a race car instead of building the kit yeah we do a lot of uh kit bashing oh, uh, yeah yeah we we actually Especially do a lot of kit bashing altering the kit we we do like to think outside of the box Especially uh, oh, yeah. says uh, by the way i used that e6000 yesterday and it's like silicon on crack dry in a few minutes and it's like really hard rubber cement amazing stuff oh cool yeah e6000 is great for stuff mm. i know a lot of cosplayers that use it for uh on their builds and that when they're mm. doing their stuff Yeah, I've got um, an out of the box build coming up soon. <laughs> it's a Gree Balls build. I'm going to be building my own dropship. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, we've got about 10-15 minutes of the stream left, guys. 
That's been a nice, relaxing afternoon, actually. It actually has. It's been a yeah. very relaxing afternoon. Yeah, it's very good. And like I said, Sprue, Sprue talked me into actually picking up a model that I wasn't planning on picking up today. Mm. And spending three hours painting it now. <laughs> <laughs> Give you, it, it, it gave you an incentive, William. Yes, Dave gave me an incentive because he was talking about doing the bone on that um, on that Tyranid model. And I was like, oh, I've got some bone arcs that I need to get some paint on. I was like, while he's doing it, I will throw some paint on my bone arc night. I'm not sure I like that uh, skin tone on the the way it's coming out on the uh, the tassel hanging off the body right here. Well, that looks all right to me. Yes. But, well, I mean, you can see it better than what we can, anyway. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, it looks actually the camera's actually giving it, actually showing it pretty good. Colors are a little muted, but other than that, couldn't you blend a wash into it? Yeah, well, that's what I I uh, I went in with Riken Flesh Shade underneath right. it, and I was just kind of blending in <clears throat> the upper yeah. layer. Yeah, so that's, put what some... the, that's with the flesh shade on it, mm. without yeah, so the can... second layer. You can do um, some highlights with different tone. Yeah, creates dark on the on the light color. You create yeah. shape. Uh, Lindsay, mm -hmm. you know, you know, I said, there, you know, I said there's another parcel come. Yeah. Let me I show. No, I just opened it. It's okay. It's <coughs> got a load, of, a load of cups and pipettes and stirrers. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Airbrush filters. <laughs> yeah. Spray booth filter, rather. So apparently, this is spray booth coming tomorrow. Oh, wow. Get me some flow improver. Not like I changed my... Um, um, I changed my filter about once every six months. Depends on how much I've used it. And, uh, another airbrush. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Very nice. The spruce said to me, Jay, better off with two. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah. We actually said four. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Michelle says, you're not having four, not yet. I've got, I've got three. Yeah, I've got two going right now. I've got that Squigmar um, Evolution. That I got from Harder and Steamback, and then I got my um, Iowata HPCS. I think that's what it was. Yeah, HPCS that I use exclusively for priming now, because mm. it it throws the primer a lot better than that Harder and Steamback with the um, even with the bigger needle that they had with the. Uh, I think it's a four, a point four five. But I'm running the um, point two right now mm. for doing um, all the silver in that, and I managed to figure out that the the way I was thinning out my Citadel paints, it actually sprays very nicely. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so we've got Mikey in and he says good morning and Mikey says hi Will. Oh hey Wicked. Uh Apple says just a look, just ordered up a McFarlane Chaos Marine, eight inches tall, and a rotating paint stand arriving on Monday. Oh nice. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, that eight inch chaos space marine I actually 
like that. And I did find on Amazon, uh, there's a Space Wolf. Make sure I get it back. No, it's there, look. Up eight there. inch. Behind you. Um, miniature that I want to put my hands on. Right now, I've got it saved in my no, list of things to buy. Be at home. No. That's why you took it in this one. No. What, you want a lead? No, a cup. Plug that that goes in. No, because mine's made as well. Oh, um, no, I ain't got one. Do you want to order one on Amazon and then can you keep it? Sorry about that, guys. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Uh, Apple says, hi, Mikey. Okay, so we're going to have to end the stream, guys. I'm over my time now. All right. I was just using up the last of my hours I had. That's all. If I was to say I was overwhelmed, it would be an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just glad I can get rid of my crap to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> well, any more crap, you know, it's not a problem, Lindsay. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, okay. But you've never seen me this quiet. <laughs> Okay, right. Thank you very much for everyone coming in. Uh, Spur and Blue, Carl Scale Modeling, uh, New Fenris Railroad, which is William, and MP yeah. Model Plastic, which is uh, Manuel. Okay, thank you, Manuel. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, it's not any longer Manuel, but I was just using up the rest of my hours because I uh, refresh tomorrow. Um, okay. You can always join me uh, some other time if you want to. Thank you, Liz. Okay. Always a pleasure with you guys. Mm. so i'd like to thank everyone in the chat and also everyone uh, if you can give us all a good big thumbs up we'd be much appreciated uh those that are watching uh that's not actually in the chat um if you like the content you see uh, there's plenty of uh, content on everyone's channel which is car scale modeling mine new fenris railroad and mps Give us all a good thumbs up and subscribe to the channels. Push the notification bells. Be much appreciated, guys. So we'll say goodbye for now. Oh, yeah. Bye for now. See you all very soon. Bye-bye. See you, guys. Bye. 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 Have a nice weekend.